Oh, ah, my mask. It's exhausting. There is no tree in my smoothie. It's actually ridiculous. It's actually almost midday, but I am making a breakfast smoothie because today is the first day towards a happy, healthier Kimmy because I've been eating a lot of crap, let's say, in this lockdown and I have to be on stage in two weeks' time. And if there's any hope in hell of me lifting my backside up that pole, I'm gonna have to get in shape. I've got spinach and kale. Here is some frozen mango and some fresh mango because I didn't have enough of the frozen. Half a cucumber, a bit of lime, half an avocado. I don't have coconut water so I just add uh, coconut oil to some water. Canela, uh, what do you call that? It's so hard going to be having everything in Italian but having to tell you in English. This is turmeric, curcuma. This is... Oh, I'm going to have to look it up and then I'll tell you. So all of these are going to go in here, in my Kenwood. One cup of water. Some coconut oil. Then my greens. These are my spinach and kale. The cucumber. The avocado, the mango, then a tiny bit of cin oops, cinnamon, I remembered. This is the turmeric, but it stains so easily, so I went this morning and bought myself a big pot of it. It's got lots of anti-inflammatory, this is a dash, that looks like quite a lot, but do you know what, sure it'll be fine. I'll just mix this up. We'll be good to go. Go and try this at home, kids. Oh. I just realised there's a bit of mango skin in there. Wait. How did I do that? Right, so I tried it about two minutes ago and it tasted pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. But then I realised I hadn't added any lime and I chugged in a ton more mango, and now it's not bad. You can taste all the different flavors. I do it because I know it's good for me, but I don't love the taste of drinking like spinach and kale. And I don't mind them by themselves, but in a drink it's just weird. It's really not that bad. And I have some left over here that I'm gonna go and take and give to Valerio. He's gonna hate it. I know he's gonna hate it. He hates my juices all the time. I'm always telling him I've made you a smoothie, so many good things in it, and he complains every time, so let's see his reaction. Boosty! I have a juice for you, a smoothie. It's a new recipe. I wish you guys could see his face. No. He hates being on I'm not going to film you. No, 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 no. no, no. Just try it. It looks worse than it tastes. Looks worse than it tastes. It's got a lot it really of... It tastes bad though. It really tastes bad though. It's got, ah. <laughs> it's got oh. a lot of layers. What do you think's in it? Like a tree. <laughs> there is no tree in my Yay. smoothie. You need to drink it. It's so good for no you. I just came outside on our terrace, which we've been so lucky to have in this lockdown. I came outside to quickly warm up because I'm about to do a stretching class with my friend and I like to warm up beforehand. But every time I try and train, this happens. There's not really enough space on this mat for two of us, is there? And look how hot it is. It's going to be way too hot for you. But she won't move. She's going to stay there. I'm not going to be able to do a good workout. She's gonna get too hot, it's just not good for anyone. All right, let's do this cheesecake. <laughs> this is actually ridiculous. What are we gonna do, hmm? I need to work out. Oh dear. Ah, 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 it's hot, it's really hot. <laughs> Whew, I've just finished. Uh, Pretty intense stretch class with my friend, Miss Marion Cram. She's amazing, she hangs by her hair and all sorts. You should look her up. Now, I've got Valerio poised. <laughs> you can see him on the floor? Because I've asked him to take a picture of my final position.
Can you see her? Wait. Wait. Where did the dog go? There. But behind, by your feet. Oh. You have some room. Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay. Oh, she's actually laying down. I see. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Now. Go backwards, I guess. Just... And then you start pushing. No, no, I'm done. Oh, it's exhausting. Question. Look at the result. Always together. Right, cheesecake. I just finished my first serious pole training. Ready for Maison in two weeks' time. Oh, that was gnarly. Oh, you can see my hand is all wobbly. <laughs> my arms are tired. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Still got two weeks until I have to be just under two weeks. It's actually on stage at Maison, so I'm sure I can manage this. I'm actually often walking backwards, I've realised, trying to follow the good light in the house. I just want to show you. It's a bit of a mess because there's paperwork and things around. But this is the situation. Always nearby. Just a cheesecake. Cheesecake. Should we go upstairs? I'm gonna go upstairs and do my final bit of workout for the day. I'm gonna do some abs. My water. This I'm drinking lemon and cayenne pepper and maple syrup. I think officially it's called the lemonade diet, but I'm not doing it as a diet. I'm just doing it as something extra good to drink. So I'm still eating, basically. I want to talk quickly. I am gonna put some clips in of me on the pole, but I'm not like super excited about sharing that and I'm sure you're all gonna say, oh no, you look great, because most people are lovely like that, but in the performer world, which is a little different to the real world, aside from aesthetically, this is just my personal choice. I prefer when I'm a bit more on the slimmer, a more muscly side. And aside from aesthetically, I find it easier, quite honestly, to get my butt up the pole when I have a few more muscles and a few, a little less fat. So that is the goal this week. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. My last workout of the day and I was a little bit hungry I thought I'm gonna boil some eggs so Lisa and I can have one today maybe one tomorrow it's a little snack before dinner the problem will be the water hasn't boiled yet but I shoved them in anyway and I really want to go and start my training I don't want to wait for the eggs how am I gonna remember the eggs are boiling because Nine times out of ten, I do these things, I wander off and then I come back and there's no water in the pan and they're more than hard boiled. Now you're probably thinking, Kimmy, just set an alarm on your phone. That would just be too easy, wouldn't it? But new Kimmy, new taking control of my life. I am going to set an alarm for my eggs. Then tonight I'm having chicken. God, this camera's so heavy. Oh, especially after doing pole. Tonight I'm having chicken and some broccoli that I prepared earlier with some garlic, oh, very bright. Our neighbours have decided to have a, bar um, a barbecue, a pizza night. Everyone stays like, distant from each other in your own little bubbles, of course. And of course, it's the first day of my diet, so they're all making orders and choosing what pizzas they're gonna have. And I'm gonna come out with my plate of chicken and broccoli. I used to have a lot of willpower when I was younger, when there was something I really wanted in life. That kind of faded a bit as I got older, so I'm really hoping that I've found it again now and I have the willpower to resist the pizza tonight and enjoy my chicken and broccoli. So we're gonna pop upstairs. No doubt Cheesecake will be following me any second and do the last ab workout of the day. Whew. So it's Tuesday and I'm going out for my first 
lunch. I'm very excited. Oh, ah, my mask. I was saying, going out for lunch. I'm on my bike because I think like many countries, it's being encouraged to do, certainly in big cities, less, uh, as much, sometimes I find it really hard to speak in English, to spend as least time as possible on public transport. So if you don't have to use public transport, uh, to take another form of transport and we bought me a new bike which I love and yeah I have my mask even if when traveling like when exercising you don't really have to wear it but we prefer to have that extra protection which is actually more for other people than for myself I wish everybody felt like that it's such a beautiful day First lunch out! Oh my god, this is so exciting! I'm having a insalata, avocado, Beth is having... What are you having? It's like rice with salmon tartare. Bon appetito! <laughs> Botox story time! I just got back from my face doctor. She's amazing. If anyone in Milan um, is interested in getting any work done on their face, please hit me up and I will send you her way. She's just fabulous. And today I had Botox. I haven't had it for more than six months, I think. Um, obviously you can't see any results straight away. I don't think I was bleeding much today. And let me show you now uh, what my forehead looks like. So if I'm surprised, it's like, see all those lines there? And if I'm frowning, see those ones there? Which, um are there pretty much all the time and with the Botox it just helps smooth them out a bit I know not everyone agrees with Botox but I don't care I love it and I didn't film today when she was doing it but I'm going back for a checkup in a few weeks for about a month and normally she does a little top up if she needs to so I can film it then so you can see it's not too painful um, I mean, I'm not gonna say it doesn't hurt at all but she's got a very good hand and it depends also, you know, what time of the month it is, or if you've slept well, or what you've eaten, you know. A woman's pain threshold can depend on many, many things. Uh, so yeah, this is how much movement I have now. And you will see over the next few days, I guess, a few weeks, because um, it takes a while to work. I think on my Instagram, if you look back somewhere, I'll see if I can find a link. I did a, a story, like a couple of years ago, I, I literally Instagram lived my forehead being frozen the Botox. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed these little snippets of my day. I don't know exactly where I'm going with this channel yet. Hopefully there's gonna be some new interesting things coming up with my poll show and just lots of fun things happening. So let's just see how it goes. Also, I enjoy doing this also just to keep up with friends of mine back home in England who I don't maybe keep in touch with enough so they can still see what I'm up to. Please like and subscribe if you would be interested to see some more of the life of Kimmy. And I will see you all very, very soon. Ciao.